Hey everyone, it's Josh, and it's probably a safe bet that you started watching this video right after doing something else. Doing a little coding, brushing your teeth, going on a run, it really doesn't matter. What does matter is that you performed your own version of a segue from one activity to another, one that was customized to fit with your current lifestyle. What you may not know is that when you move from one view controller to another in iOS, you do so by a segue that can contain custom transition animations, and with iOS 9, you can keep your animation code and view controller code nice and separated from one another, making it cleaner to read and easier to maintain. In this screencast, we'll go over the basics of segues and using a custom segue in your app. Before we get started, I'd like to give a big thanks to Caroline Begby, who wrote the custom segues chapter in iOS 9 by Tutorials, which is the basis for this screencast. For our demo, we'll be updating the segues in the Pampered Pets app, a pet mining app that, when complete, will display a list of pets to mind and their details. In particular, we'll add a segue to display a larger picture of the pet when the user taps on the image in the detail screen. Let me perform my own segue into the code and show you how to add that transition now. Getting a basic segue up and running is pretty straightforward. We want to kick off the segue when the picture is tapped, but currently there is no tap gesture recognizer on the picture. Let's fix that. Now we need to connect the tap gesture recognizer to the animal photo view controller in order to establish the segue. To do this, control drag from the tap gesture recognizer in the document outline to the animal photo view controller and choose present modally when the pop-up mode appears. You now have a segue. Let's give the segue the proper identifier so that the code recognizes it. To do this, select the segue and in the attributes inspector change the identifier to photo detail. In the code for Animal Detail View Controller class, let's use this identifier to set up the destination view controller and prepare for segue. Here, you're telling the destination view controller the right image to display. If you run this on the simulator now and tap the image, a larger version will appear, but you have no way to return to the detail view. This can easily be remedied with the use of an exit segue. Add the following code to the Animal Detail View Controller. This method, or more precisely, a method with this particular method signature, can be used as an anchor point for the end of an exit segue. To use that method, go to the main storyboard, choose the Animal Photo View Controller, and drag a tap gesture recognizer onto the Pet Photo View. Then, control drag from the gesture recognizer in the outline to the exit entry. Let go of the click, and when the pop-up appears, choose Unwind to Animal Detail View Controller. This tells the system that when the image is tapped, pop this view controller off of the stack, and continue to do so until a class that contains Unwind to Animal Detail View Controller is encountered. Now if you run the app in the simulator, you can tap to get the full-size image, and then tap on the full size image to get the original view back, thanks to the exit segue. Finally, let's look at how easy it is to change segue types. Go back and select the segue again, and in the attributes inspector, change the type to drop seg and rerun the app. See how the segue has changed? Segways have been around since iOS 5, and it's easy to set up segways, both forward and backward, and changing to a different type of segue, including custom ones, is as easy as updating a field in Interface Builder. That's a real quick look at the basics of segways and using custom segways in your app. Now you're ready to move on to the next task in your day. Okay, so control click drag from this video over to your next task to establish the segue, right, like that. Now let's go and choose show. There you go. Okay, you're all set. When this video ends, you'll transition to the next thing in your day. Keep coming back to rayrenderlink.com for more screencasts and tutorials on iOS. See you next time.